In this video, I'm going to show you a really incredible concept in Madden 23 that is going to break down man coverage. It'll also break down zone really well and could potentially be a one play touchdown um, against zone coverages. So let's get right into the video. Um, the play is going to be deep corner out of Pittsburgh. I think this is the most versatile play in bunch this year. I think it's the best play in bunch this year. If you want to learn my entire bunch ebook, make sure you join my Patreon. The link's going to be in the description. It's only ten dollars uh, to sign up and get access to everything uh, that we have uh, over there. I've got eleven offensive and defensive ebooks, and I've got more on the way. Patreon members get access to all ebooks, all updates to those ebooks, and any pro tips or exclusive tips. Uh, that we drop um, so if you want to sign up link is in the description we're going to block the running back for this setup we're going to c route or corner route the tight end or i'm sorry the solo receiver um, outside of premise is kind of a must this year uh, i just think in, in whatever game mode you're playing outside of premise is really important now if you don't have outside of premise put him on a comeback okay but we want to we want to be able to c route or corner him we want to streak our slot and we want to drag our tight end that's pretty much the setup now, our first read on the play is always going to be this tight end quick. You want to try to hit that tight end quick. It's really good against the blitz, okay? Um, you want to have short and elite on the tight end. If they blitz you, that's the primary read that we want to have. We want to say, okay, they're blitzing me. I'm either going to hit that or I'm going to hit that C route to the left. Now, how do you pass lead C routes in Madden 23? The way that you throw C routes, especially against man, is you want to hold LB or L button or L1 or whatever you want to call it and you want to highball it to the outside, okay? You want to highball it to the outside against man. Now, if it is zone, like for some, uh, for example, cover four, we don't have a clear out route on this, so it's gonna be hard to throw this. You can do something like that, but again, you see the window is not quite there because we're blocking our running back. Now, um, and, and when we see zone, we really want to work back over the middle uh, to the middle of the field but another quick read against man so you have your c right you got your drag and then this post this post is also good against uh, against man you want to have short and elite on that player as well right short and elite on the three bunch receivers and i like to have short out and short in on the solo if possible if not possible then just short out on the solo uh receiver and so what you'll see here now i'm going to go to zone so like let's say i run a cover three it's the most popular zone in the game cover three zone what you'll see here is this post pass lead right in that little pocket. You see how powerful of a route that is. It's one of the best routes in the entire game. Okay, the streak will clear out room for the post. The streak will clear out room for the post, and it really doesn't matter what coverage it is. So if it's cover four, you'll see here you want to throw it maybe right in that little pocket. And there, that was a terrible free form um, by Brady. But you're trying to get this ball in front of in front of the safeties so if it's cover four cover four is probably the most difficult uh, to hit this but right in there you want to aggressive catch it you want to cut that bad boy off aggressive catching is the best way to catch right now this year okay I like to add almost everything okay so now that's cover four we saw cover three cover three is really the this is really the main play that I like against cover three because you see how good of a cover three beater this is. This is one of the best cover three beaters in the game. It, it, a lot of times it'll be a one play touchdown. A lot of times it will be a one play touchdown, okay? Um, let me show you something else against cover three. So let's say um, you want to try to hit the C route. You'll see here, it's not really that good. Now, the primary way that people will defend a C route, okay? The primary way people will defend a C route is they will outside third the corner because it does such a good job of guarding that. So even if they're in man-to-man -man and they do something like this, look at this. You see how that post is running wide open to the end zone? So, you know, if you have enough time and they're trying to stop your C route, you know, this is should be a cash money touchdown right here. You see here, as long as he can beat man, boom. You see how good this is. So this funnels the, the the defense. And I always talk about this a little bit. Like, we want to funnel the defense into what do they have to do, right? Well, in this play, they have to user this guy, Jones, okay? So what this does is, depending on the coverage that they're in, let's say they're in cover three and they're going to user 
Jones. Now what this does is my drag is wide open. Okay? So you know, they have to go high with the post, the drag is open. Um, that's kind of the main thing with this. You can in route this guy as well. I think the in route's actually pretty underrated. Boom. But this play is super versatile. You can beat every coverage in the game. If they're match coverage, um, this is actually a pretty decent little play for match. Uh, I would in route the tight end if I was facing match. But you'll see here that the C route on the left side is almost always open against match. Let me turn this into a quarters. The one issue can be the fact that the safety can the safety can kind of come over and make a play right in that window right there. You see how that can be kind of good and bad. If you have a good route running guy, you have short and a lead on him, um, it can be a little better. But the main read against match is going to be your drag and your C route. Those two routes together are really good against match coverage because you have the post coming over the top. And so they have to kind of respect the post within the match concept. Otherwise, you know, you're going to hit the post. But you'll see here, you know, I could hit my C route. You see how that deep half has to go to the post, okay? So, again, this should open up a C route. So if I'm in uh, cover six, you know, maybe I need to cloud flat this guy. Let's just see. I mean, the drag's wide open. You just take the drag. But... If they ever get tired of the C route, what their, their adjustment's going to be is they're going to hard flat or they're going to try to come down on this on this drag, and then your C route should be wide open right there, pass it outside, boom. And it's the same basic thing for cover two. The other thing about match, though, is let's say that I turn this into a quarters uh, coverage. So looks at like this. You'll see... You watch the C route against match. The C route a lot of times will get separation. See right there, and Evans doesn't have the route running. We want to have you know the best route running possible there, uh, but you see how good this is. So we can break down pretty much every coverage in the game. If it's cover two, cover two we're just high and low in cover two. Honestly, like this C route is money against cover two this year. It's one of the better routes in the game. So, obviously, it's really good against man. It's really good against zone. And then the beauty of this whole thing is you have kind of built within this. If they sit on this drag, then you have that right there, which is really a hard thing to use. You kind of have to use it from start to finish. And you're going to throw a lot of touchdowns with this play. So, this is deep corner, one of my favorite plays in the game. I think it's a top five play this year, maybe even the best play this year. If you want to learn my entire Gun Bunch offensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up. And by becoming a Patreon member today, you'll get access to 11 ebooks, any additional updates to those ebooks, as well as several pro tips uh, that we don't break down here on the YouTube page. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys join the Patreon down below.